Ito lang ba pagkain natin? Ay, gutom na nga ako eh. Saan ba si Tom? Sana magluto na siya ng chicken. Ayun na si Tom! Hi guys, dala ko na yung chicken. But I have a problem. I don't know how I'm going to take this 25 degree chicken and put it in the 190 degree toaster so that it will become 165 degrees. I know! You can use Newton's law of cooling. Hi friends, this is Nicole Cruz. In mathematical terms, Newton's law of cooling can be described as du over dt equals h times the quantity of u sub a minus u. To find our working equation, we can use the separation of variables where we move dt to the other side of the equation and we integrate both sides. Integrating it will give us ln ua minus u equals ht plus c. To get rid of the ln, we raise e by each side of the equation, which will give us ua minus u equals e raised ht plus c, where e is also raised to c, which also gives us a constant. And this is our final working equation. Oh, Anton, 25 minutes na. Pacheck naman ng chicken. Okay, wait lang. <laughs> 95 degrees pa lang eh. Good day guys, I'm Anton Masanya. Now, we have the given the value of the chicken. At times is equal to zero. The temperature of the chicken is 25 degrees and the temperature inside the oven is 190 degrees. Now, after 25 minutes, we recorded the temperature of the chicken is having a 95 degrees Celsius. Then, we want to know how long will it take for the chicken to reach the 165 degrees Celsius before we can eat it. Now, having the working equation we have given to us by Nicole, we will substitute the initial values of the chicken to the equation. At t is equal to zero, the temperature of the chicken is 25 degrees. And u, having u, is always constant. We have, not, we have the ua is equal to 190 degrees. We will have the equation of 190 minus 25 is equal to c1 e to the h times zero. Knowing e to the h times zero, Everything, every number or any number raised to a number of zero is equals to one. So we, we will have the number of 165. 190 minus 25 is equals to 165. Hi, I'm Tom Naval. And now we were given the condition that when t is equal to 25, u is equal to 95. And we can use these values to solve for the value of h, the convection coefficient. So we input the values into the equation and to solve for h and then so 190 minus 95 is equal to 165 e raised to 25h. 165 is the constant we got earlier from Anton. And so we simplify the equation and now we have this 95 over 165 is equal to e raised to 25 over h. So to bring this 25h down we just have to take the natural logarithm of both sides and then we end up with this um, ln of 95 over 165 is equal to 25h and we just simplify this and isolate h to get the value which is yeah sorry <laughs> So to get the t value, it's the same as getting the h. So we just try to isolate e and bring this whole thing down. So first we divide by 165 on both sides and we get the natural logarithm 
to bring this whole T part down and then we just isolate T and just plug these things into your calculator and then <coughs> you can get the value of T which is 85.45 minutes Yay! We're on fire in the title! <laughs> 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 <laughs>